In this video, we're going to be filing a tax return or starting a tax return and filling out a W-7 form for a first-time filer that uh, does not already have an ITIN number. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to start the new return and we're not using a template. We're just going to put in the social security number all as zeros. Okay, and you'll see here in a second why that is. And I'm going to use this tax return um, sample for another return. So I'm going to mark it as head of household. You can see when we get to the primary taxpayer information page, this return contains for W-7 application. If the taxpayer does not need to apply for an I-10, click here. So if you entered all zeros by accident somehow, um, very interesting that you did that but um, you would click here to undo it. So I'm going to put in the taxpayer's information. I'm going to call this our I-10 filer return. And I'm going to put in the date of birth, 9-9 of 1981. And the dude is a, he's in sales, why not? Everybody's in sales of some sort. I'm going to put in the address, 1111 East Boulevard. And lives in Florida. 305 blah 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 and we're going to click continue and we're going to put in some dependent information this is also going to be an IT I10 filer dependent and last name pulls over for us oh I spelled it wrong on the other page but again doesn't matter and social is non-existent because I'm going to check that box so bam. So if you check that box, just to back up here real quick, um, you can see that the social security number information, because I just uh, left it empty, started to enter it and then hit enter um, or tabbed out of it. Uh, there's an option that says check if the dependent does not have an SSN I-10 or a TIN. I'm going to click right there. Um, the reason being is because this dependent will be completing form W-7. That's correct. What's the relationship? We'll say D daughter lived with us for 12 months um, and we'll go continue. Okay, so I'm not too concerned with filling out the rest of this return. Um, I'm going to click into our miscellaneous forms, jump over to the application for I 10 W7, and we're going to select the I 10 filer that was his or hers uh, name, and the application type is apply for a new I 10. And the reasoning for filing is non-resident alien required to obtain I-10 to claim treaty tax benefit. Non-resident alien filing a U.S. tax return and not eligible for a social. Uh, we're going to go with that one. Okay. Click continue. Uh, mail. Country of birth. We'll say that it is Mexico. City of birth and the state, um, pardon my ignorance, but we're going with that. Keeping it real uniform. Um, applicant has applicant's birth name. Nope, everything's straight there. Click continue. And the ID type submitted is going to be a passport issued by Mexico. And the ID number is something like that expiration date is 1 1 of 2018 and entered into the US on 1 1 of 2015 foreign tax ID if any nope application previously received a tax identification number nope we're going to click continue and that is that so that's the application for the primary filer now uh, we're going to jump down. We're going to add another app for the dependent, and it's selecting dependent here. And the reason is we're applying for a new application type. Reason is right there. Going to click continue, and we're going to kind of rinse and repeat. We selected as daughter, so we're going female here, country of birth. Again, uh, pardon my ignorance for not knowing all of the states in Mexico but it's all good and we're gonna click continue 
and issued by we're going to go with passport issued by Mexico and the ID number again is some random keyboard mashing the expiration date is going to be sure and the date that they entered into the US is sure okay we'll click continue and we're ready to go so that is what you would do if you're creating a um, an ITIN application for an individual that doesn't have an ITIN already um, doesn't have a social security number either for their the primary file or, or for the dependent so it's a uh, pretty straightforward you're gonna go in if you use all zeros for the primary filer um, check the box for the dependent and um, and just rock and roll through the form so hopefully that was super simple and straightforward oh and one other quick thing uh, in the event that the dependent um, hasn't actually entered into the United States so we have a date entry into the US um, this was something that we had to change last year in the program in the event that they have not entered into the US yet you can um, leave this field blank and click continue and it will accept that as well so again hopefully we've, we've covered this topic um, in great enough detail and that you'll uh, you'll feel comfortable rocking and rolling through the uh, the W7 form for both the primary filer and uh, and any dependents um, thanks so much for watching and uh, hope you have an amazing tax season thank thank you